This is a heroic event in the history of clergy sexual abuse. We thank her for her advocacy. We know that uh, officials of the Altoona Johnstown Diocese, the Franciscans in Hollidaysburg, and many, many other religious leaders knew all about this for many, many days. For years, we've been talking about what's going on here in the newspapers, and people didn't want to believe what was happening. And our church has been asking for mercy. But when you look into the face of these victims, they've wanted justice. They've wanted these men to be held accountable. And sadly, we can't hold many of them accountable because of what went on, of, of how many times the church was active in hiding this terrible sin. And now, at least in some way, I think people are being made aware of uh, not just what happened, but that people can be held accountable. We've been saying something's not right with what's going on, and we've been trying to clean that up. There's nothing criminally you could do. The police knew about this stuff. They, this, is, this has been well known for decades, and nobody was able to do anything. The church militant. The church belongs to them, and they need to demand accountability on so many levels right now as we're looking at this. But I'm also thinking of those who have suffered for so long from the sexual abuse of Brother Baker and the cover-up that occurred in that relatively little monastery in Hollidaysburg. You know, these I, folks have just lived with this emotional roller coaster for for decades. You know, and to think that these men in that little, relatively little monastery were able to cover up not just in Pennsylvania, but in Ohio, in Michigan, in Minnesota, in Virginia. Um, it, it just.